first, am I right? Now, I have to say, you all look beautiful and sun-kissed and healthy because we're in Los Angeles. You look like you've spent exactly zero days with a doctor or in some kind of healthcare situation. But I have to say that healthcare right now is like the worst of all worlds for Americans, where we spend twice as much as other countries to worse results. And when we get sick or injured, we are much more stressed out about navigating our crazy system than we are actually getting well. And that's wrong in the richest, most advanced country in the history of the world. We can change it. We can have Medicare for all. And that's what I'm going to make happen as president. And when people ask, where are you going to get the money? I'm like, are you kidding me? We're spending 18% of GDP. We're plowing so much money into this dysfunctional system. We can get the prices down and the access up as long as we start rationalizing our crazy system. And I have a lot of friends who are doctors. I'm Asian, as you can tell. But they know, too. They're like, yeah, it's true. Like, our system is a bit of a mess. And a lot of them, if you get a couple drinks in them, they're like, yeah, I'm for that, too. And the third thing is we have to, as Leslie was saying, we have to start measuring our economy in ways that matter to us. How many of you all woke up this morning excited about GDP? Oh. This, that guy was. That's funny. And how many woke up and were like, I'm going to make a big contribution to GDP today. I can feel it. <laughs> GDP is something we made up almost 100 years ago. And even the inventor, Simon Kuznet, said three things. He said, number one, this is a terrible measurement for national well-being, and we should never use it as that. Number two, we should include parenthood and motherhood because it's so important. And number three, we shouldn't include military defense spending because it adds no economic value. So of course we ignored all three of those things and now we're going to ride GDP off a cliff. And I talk about my own family. My wife is at home with our two young boys right now, one of whom is autistic. How much does her work? Yeah, aut autism. Yeah, thumbs up. I agree. And how much is her work valued at a GDP every day? How much does the market value her work at? And we all know that's perverse and messed up. We know that the work she's doing is more important and more vital, more challenging to our future than the work of the average corporate attorney or whatever nonsense. And I can say that because I was a corporate attorney for five months. And I can tell you that that job can be automated away very, very quickly. So those are the three big moves we need to make. A freedom dividend for all Americans of a thousand bucks a month. Medicare for all to get the, the prices way down and the access up. And then move towards measurements that would actually matter to us aside from this GDP thing we made up. So what would matter to us? How about mental health and freedom from substance abuse? How about our own physical health and life expectancy? How about how clean our air and water are? How about our average income and affordability, whether we can afford rent? So believe it or not, we can actually change our economic measurements to these things. And then I'm going to, I'm going to present them to you all at the State of the Union address every year. I'm going to have a PowerPoint deck. I'm going to be the first president to use PowerPoint for my State of the Union address.